Looking to find affiliates? I've got just the tool for you. It's called SEMrush, and I'm going to show you how I find the affiliates that actually matter for your program. Let's go! All right, we're in SEMrush now. One of those first things I like to do is go get a general overview of what the landscape is looking like. And the best way I like doing this is the keyword magic tool. So uh, our clients in the webinar region and we're looking for competitor webinar services. So I'll be looking up best webinar software. And the reason I use this keyword is best anything is usually gonna be some kind of transactional or uh, commercial, not necessarily informational. And SEMrush, one of my favorite things about this is that'll tell me what this user base information is going to be. It'll tell me if it's informational or if it's commercial or if it's transactional. Transactional is where we want to live. That's where affiliates want to live. But commercial is good as well. So let's check out this for search volume, best webinar software. 720 is, is pretty decent. Let's check out the landscape, what we're working with. As this loads up, we're going to see some really great insights. Nothing I'm going to be looking at as much as the SERP analysis first. So we're looking at affiliates that are uh, owning this real estate here on Google. And there's some huge players here. Tech Radar, obviously, not familiar with webinar care. Looks like it's pretty niche into just webinars. Uh, I know Adam Enfroy is a big player in this community, so we'll go and check his site out and look at some of the competitors that we're working with. All right, out of these, I know Demio. I'm a, an affiliate of Demio, and I know their URL structure is question mark something refer equals because they're using first promoter, so it, it extends on the URL. So we'll be using Demio. Let's go check it out and check out the redirect path here using this super cool tool that I love, redirect path. It's a Chrome extension and it'll tell me uh, where that traffic is coming from and, and there's not much to hide here. Ref FP underscore ref equals Adam 79. So that's a structure that we're looking for. Now we got our, our competitor that we want to look at. So then we'll go over to domain overview. And we'll go ahead and put demio.com in. Let's see what pops up. We're going to check out the backlinks, 566 of them. And we're going to filter these out a little bit more. Links per referring domain, we only need one here. So go ahead and click that one. That'll filter out dramatically from this 566 because a lot of these are going to be garbage and from URLs that really don't matter, things that don't have any traffic. Those aren't partners that we're looking for. Right now we're, we're looking for the ones. And ideally we would want some kind of traffic. Uh, but we don't necessarily need that here. And just this one filter itself has, has dumbed us down to 10,000. Now, that's good enough. If I get it under 10,000, that's good enough for me to export. If you really want to get down into it, um, I'm going to export this into a CSV file. But if you really want to get down into it a little bit more, you can click this. Active, you can even go down the sponsored route if you really want to see uh, some of those players. Um, and then you could also even just put a question mark here and hit enter, and it might filter down even further. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you why in a little bit, but um, there are some great partners that might not necessarily be direct linking through an affiliate link, they may be cloaking it. So I don't necessarily put this, and you can see that it filtered it down to 1,300 right now, um, and that's a good export as well. So 
once we have that, let's uh, let's pull in the Excel file of the results. You can download it into a CSV. And after you've done that, uh, go to File, open some kind of Google Sheets, go to File, go to Import, and upload that CSV into a new folder here. And now we've got this list of 10,000. And uh, we, can, we can look at Adam. We can see Adam's got quite a few pages that are referring to him. These might have been guest posts, and some of them are going to be directly from his website as well. So that's good. And then we've also got the reason I bring up the we don't want to just go off the refer equals. These are a list of all the affiliates here. We can get that list. These are the guys on Demio that Demio has that we want to go after first. This is our absolute first list. But on top of that, um, I wanted you to take note of Dustin Howes because I know I'm an affiliate of this program. I have my traffic coming from here, but it's not showing as going to question mark FP underscore ref equals. That's because I'm cloaking that affiliate link and that will not show up in SEMrush. So these are also players. Uh, some of these other websites are going to be doing the same. So that's why I don't take them off this list. That of course is your first list. That's the easy part is building that list out. And now the hard part is you know, finding the right contacts at each one of those. But if you have this giant list and now you're going to be filtering them out by, by the traffic. So the external links. Be looking at like the page score is good for you to filter out. Doing it Z to A. And these are the players that you're going to want to go after. First, some of these, you're going to have to do a little bit of hard work figuring out which are affiliates and which are not. Um, again, the ref equals is a very good indicator, but not necessarily a given. So uh, that's how you build the list and filter it down. The easy work is done. I, I get this done in five minutes. Now the hard part is finding all the contact information and the right person. And there you have it, folks. SEMrush is one of my favorite tools as an affiliate manager. Go find affiliates that really matter for your program. There's a link in the description below. Please click it and check it out. Download your free trial for 30 days and see if it works for you. Uh, please hit that subscribe button as well. Good luck, and we'll see you out there.